in this video we are discussing structure to hierarchical pattern example so this video will be assisted to one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept so this task takes the posts.xml and also the comments.xml to create a hierarchical data set so here we are using two xml files one is the posts.xml and comments.xml and they will be considered and then the output will be in the hierarchical data set format so let us go for the practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this under data organization pattern we are going to discuss structure to hierarchical pattern example in this particular example we are having two xml files users.xml under the path slash input slash user and comments.xml under the path slash input slash comments and we are finding out that which user has made which comment on certain post so slash input slash user we are having users.xml so this xml file is containing user details and if you go for slash input slash comments comments.xml here this xml file is containing comment details so let us show the current content of this there are so many records are there but we have just taken some of them for your um, understanding at first we are discussing users.xml within the users tag we are having multiple row tags are there with multiple attributes so attributes are something like your uh, here for each and every row id reputation we are having the creation date display name last access date website url we are going to have location about me views upvotes downvotes account id so these are the attributes are there under the row in case of comments.xml we are having the id post id score text creation date and also the user id under each and every row and whole thing is under the comments tag so we have discussed what is the users.xml and comments.xml let me go for the java program here we are having only one class that is user comment hire mrtax.java it is having the inner class that is our user uh, comment mapper which extends mapper so user comments mapper is the inner class which extends mapper and also we are having another reducer class here so within that we are having two variables one is the uh, there is the output key which is of the type of text and output value which is of the type of text so output key and output value we are overriding the map method we are overriding the map method here so here we are having the xml pass that is a hash map object and we are having xml to map one method that method will take one xml as input and returns the hash map object as output which will be instantiating this xml parsed we are defining one uh, variable that is a id here and from the xml parsed from the hash map we are trying to get the id that is a respective tag so id we are, we are putting the value in string id so if id is equal to is equal to null then return we are not going for the rest part otherwise the output key will be set with xml parse dot get id so respective id value will be put in the output key and then the output value will be set with uh, the id value but along with that u plus concatenating u as a first letter with this id and we are writing that one temporarily on the context that is the output key and output value so key value pair will be written on the context dot write so user for user this respective the u will be the first character for user the output value will have the first character that is u capital u in case of comment mapper which is also extending the mapper class we are having two variables there that is the output key and output value both of the type text again we are having the xml parts that is a hash map object and xml to map is instantiating that one so here we are taking this user id from the hash map we are taking this user id and that is getting assigned onto the string user id if user id is equal to is equal to null then we will returning the control so rest part will remain unexecuted output key dot set xml parts dot get owner user id so that will be kept as a key and in case of value here we are concatenating with a capital c as a first letter and then value to string to be con converted to string and that will be kept so add letter c with the comment so there we had the user with the letter capital u here with the capital c we have kept everything within the 
try catch block but having the reduce that is we're having the reduce uh, reducer class has been extended we're having one user id and the comment list that is added list there user id has been initialized with null and comment list with the, which is the added list has been made clear at first now we shall go for this uh, this a text value values is nothing but one iterable object you can find that one we'll be taking one at a time so if the value dot caret is zero that means if the first character when a user id is found that means remove the letter u and take the id so we'll be taking the substring from position number one to the last doing the trimming and that will initialize this user id and in case of in case of comment the first character is C, so comment dot list dot add. We are taking the first character onwards. Our first character means the character at the zeroth index will be discarded, and we'll be doing the trimming, and that will that will be added with the comment list. So if user ID is not equal to null, then we are creating one JSON object, and we are putting that one user user ID into the JSON object. And in case of JSON array, we are creating one instance of JSON array, and JSON array dot put comment list. And JSON object dot put comments JSON array, and then we are again writing onto the context dot write. There is a new text JSON object to string and null writable dot get. So there is a key value will be written on the context, and here we also have put within the try catch block. So here is the main function. So just see the usage here. There is a user comment hierarchical mr tax so that is a class name and then user input then comment input the respective two folders user input folder where the xml will be deciding comment input folder where the comment will be deciding and also the output folder so these three parameters are to be passed so if the argument counts is not equal to three that means the wrong argument so we shall not go otherwise we shall go for creating a job instance and job name is get user id and comment in json format so job dot set jar by class we are mentioning the respective class here we are having the multiple inputs so add input path job comma there is a argument zero that is the first argument whatever you are passing a text input format class and user comment mapper class so these two class we are mentioning for the multiple inputs will be taken there and then multiple inputs will be going for add input path for the next now going for the set reducer class so reducer class is user comment reducer dot class which you defined earlier so there is arc 0 and arc 1 will initialize the respective add input path in both cases you can I am just marking that one to show you that what are the classes we are using that one then we will be going for job dot set output format we will be going for job dot set output format class that is our text output format class and text text output format dot set output path will be job and new path argument two. So that is the third argument whatever you are passing that is the output path we are passing. So job dot set output key that is a output key class is text dot class and also output value class will be text dot class. Depending upon the system exit the current condition of the completion that value will be returned either zero or one zero means success one means failure. Now, after creating this Java file, we shall go for the jar file creation. So we'll be going for the package and then we shall go for export. Then we shall go for the jar file. We shall click on the next. We shall find out the jar file path and the jar file name. Then we shall go for next and finish. But already we have created such a jar file earlier. So we are not going to create it once again. I'm just skipping this particular step here. So let me go for the command. So Hadoop jar. We are writing Hadoop, then jar, then map reduce design pattern. So that is a path. Jar files is a path, and then we are having the data organized pattern dot jar. So there is a jar file name we mentioned. Then struct to hire is the respective um, package name. Then user uh, com hire dot tax is a class name. So this is a package, and rest one is a class. I'm just marking that one for the better visualization then input path will be the where the user xml will be there users xml there is a slash input slash user and then input xml uh, input xml that is the comments xml so that will be under 
slash input slash command and output will be the folder I'm executing the command see the outputs it will create the part files and I shall show you show you the display of the part file content against user ID the commands will be displayed if the comments are there so it will display the user ID and the respective comment in the form of a list in the part file so part file will be created under the output folder so let me go for the cat of that folder that means the content of the folder will be going to display so sdfs dfs minus cat and then slash output slash part star so here you can find that we are having the list of all user IDs and the respective comments are there all user IDs and respective comments whatever comments are not there it is showing the blank and whatever comments are there it will be showing the respective comment you can find that so many user IDs and the respective comments he or she has made on multiple different posts so this is the actual the basic theme behind the structure to hierarchical pattern example we have shown that one into detail step by step so that you can follow we can pause the video and we can get it done so it is our common practice to uh, also to show you that this is the user ID and the respective comments will be printed so each and every row will be user ID and the respective comments most of the comments are null some of the comments are also existing so let us go for the deletion of the output folder and then we shall conclude so the command which uh, will be going to execute is that because the de uh, deletion of the output command output folder is a common practice in this way you will be going for dfs hdfs dfs minus r m minus r slash output slash yes that is okay now the output folder has got deleted thanks for watching